Welcome everyone, it's Ben from Beyond the Toolbox and I got a fun little build that I'd like to show you all. It's a little bit dangerous so I got my safety gear on and I'm ready to go. Now this project came about from one of the classes I actually taught earlier in the week. It was an engineering with Lego class and we built a dunk booth and we were trying to find out some fun ways that we could hit that target and we came up with archery. So I wanted to design a really fun, simple way to make a Lego bow and arrow and I think I got a really good one. It works almost too well and it only uses 10 pieces. So let's see how we build it. All right, we're ready to build. So here are our 10 pieces we need. We've got two two by six plates that have holes in them, one two by four plate, three axles that are number eight axles, so they're as long as eight studs. I've got two bushings, a wheel, I'll just use a pulley wheel here, and then I have a rubber band. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna take one of these two by six plates and take bushing, and if you see on the bushing on one side there's kind of a bumpy edge to it, that allows you to wedge it in between the studs of that plate. So I'm gonna do that on one side and on the other side. Really push them in there. And when I'm done, I can take my axles and I can just kind of poke them in there so they're sticking up like this. Now we're gonna make the back part of the bow and arrow. I'm gonna take my two by four plate and stick it over the top, crisscross it like that, over my other two by six hold plate. And this is gonna slide right down over the top like this. Now we're gonna need to add our rubber band which will give us our elastic energy to launch our arrow. So I'm gonna take my rubber band and put it around this plate like this, wrap it around the back, and then wrap it around this side as well. My rubber band is a little loose but it should work fine. Now to launch, you're gonna hold it like this, pull back this plate, and you can see you get that spring action and when you let go, it's gonna launch your arrow. Now, it's very important you add some kind of a safety on your axle, I'm very serious about this. And we're gonna put this right in here like this. You can see at the bottom it rests in that hold plate, but this plate right here, it pushes the arrow out. So when I pull it back like this and let go, it really works. So, I know I'm being a little bit silly with my helmet and my goggles here, but I'm very serious about the safety with this one. It worked a little better than I expected. So when you pull it back like this, it really launches pretty strong. So please, make sure you're safe, make sure that you put a little safety on it, and never, ever, ever aim this at people. See if you can come up with some fun games and some fun targets like we did in our class with our dunk booth. Have a wonderful weekend and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.